time for On the Farm in Alabama, bringing farmers and agribusiness the latest news from Alabama Extension and the Auburn University College of Agriculture. Now here's your host, Alabama Extension Regional Agent, Eddie McGriff. Good day, I'd like to welcome everybody today to On the Farm in Alabama, and today is my guest, I have Alabama farmer Nick McMeekin. And one of the things, Nick, that I like to do is put trials on farm. And this year we had a thrips trial, or rather a thrips control trial, on your farm where we were looking at spraying the cotton at one leaf stage to help prevent thrip damage to cotton. And there is a tremendous amount of difference. We used three ounces of Intrepid Edge. And when you look at the difference all year long, in the way that the plants looked, it was tremendous. There's no doubt about it, Daddy. Um, as you mentioned, you know, when we started to do that, you know, we were trying to spread the one leaf stage and it, uh, we were actually delayed. We had some equipment malfunction and it got sprayed at the two leaf stage. But even so, in doing that, when we did it, there was a visual difference, not only for the first week or two, but a healthier plant and a much more vigorously growing plant that was noticeable throughout the year and when it became harvest time it was quite evident of the results that would be coming forth. When we did the yield analysis there was 180 pounds difference between the only difference was we sprayed at two leaf with three ounces of intrepid edge versus just the seed treatment. Of course the intrepid edge and the seed treatment to the MMO corporate but 180 pounds that's a tremendous difference. Most significantly you know there's there's not many uh, silver bullets in our toolbox that you can utilize to come up with a 180 pound difference and you know not only the yield difference but the overall plant health and the growth um, it could have been more because had the whole field been in that situation we would have been a little bit more aggressive with our plant growth regulator uh, and it could have attributed to even more yield but as it stood uh, you could visually drive by and you didn't have to pick out the flag because it was visible throughout the growing season. One thing we did is we used the TIP model which is the Thrips Infestation Predictor model and for the second year in a row it's kind of unusual it showed that from uh, the first of May through the middle of May we didn't have much thrip pressure but the last two years we've had a tremendous amount of thrip pressure from mid-May until the end of May, which is kind of unusual, but so we didn't spray this field uh, it, until uh, the two lease uh, stage, but it was planted in the middle of May. That's correct. You know, normally we have thrips pressure early on when cotton comes up and doesn't grow, but usually in your late planted cotton, later planted cotton, you know, it comes up and growing. But we had a lot of uh, heavy rain, and we had cotton that came up and was stunted and didn't want to grow and the seed treatment didn't work, work effectively. So when we applied the, um, the uh, 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 intrepid edge, um, immediately we saw a plant health uh, increase and, and the cotton began to grow while the other cotton still struggled, you know, and visually throughout the year it was just a healthier plant and in return produced more yield. Well, another thing that we notice is we're, we have the end, uh, just the Emma corporate treated seed. There's a lot of variance between the plants, which tells us that maybe not all the seed got coated with the same uh, amount of Emma corporate. Uh, some of them may not have got uh, treated as, as much. Most definitely. You know, the, uh, due to the treatment uh, not being evenly applied, you know, with the, with the uh, heavy rain that occurred, what treatment was there did not work very effectively. So at that point, had we sprayed the whole field, we would have been had a much better field. It also had a much quicker canopy, so it allowed for better weed control also. Well, when you look at the dollar amount, and that's what you need to look when we cost the, or put the cost of the uh, Intrepid Edge plus the uh, application cost on, we, even at 72 cent cotton, you put an extra $106 per acre in your pocket. I don't believe there's many farmers out there that would, you know, turn their nose up at over $100 more just from one, one treatment. There, there's no doubt about it. When we were using N4 treatments for thrips, 
you know, and that are still available now at a $25 to $30 cost. Um, this treatment provided the uh, control that we were looking for and, and the return on investment is one that you can't apply with any other uh, insecticide throughout the growing season. One thing I would like to mention is it's if you simply scout for thrips and you're looking for the thrip damage, by the time you go out there and spray, you've lost most of your yield advantage. You need to get it early. They start in the cotyledon stage. So the one leaf stage is the ideal time to spray for thrips if, if you have enough pressure. That's correct. And, and, and with uh, today's crop size with most growers, um, the use of the thrips predictor model is, is uh, an absolute necessity in doing so. And so I think that's something that needs to be, every grower needs to put in their toolbox. And if you see that coming forth, then you should go ahead and plan accordingly. And it's not something that would be used on the whole crop, but you know, yet you should see what the environmental conditions are in each particular area, along with what the threats predictor model says. Well, another thing we need to think about in North Alabama is a lot of times when we're planting, we'll have cooler conditions. So the plant is growing slower and that gives the thrips more time to do damage. Most definitely, you know, in cotton that is healthy and it comes up and grows fast, might not be as uh, adamant as needing that treatment, so you'll have to take that into account and, and plan accordingly. Well, we want to thank Nick for being with us today on On the Farm, everybody for tuning in. Tune in to the next edition of On the Farm in Alabama.